Welcome back from an ad break. Now let us start by looking at the concept. Firstly, we are going to be looking at the acronym VET. Um, now VET stands for the value added tax and it is a direct tax which is levied at 15% on goods and services. Secondly, on our concept map, we have to determine the VET exempted items. Now, VET is not charged on some essential groceries and services in South Africa because they meet the basic need or they are our basic need, meaning we need to use them on daily basis. And the government wants to accommodate the household with less or no income at all. Now, the examples of the exempted items are given. It could be fruits, vegetables, maize meal, brown bread, paraffin, cooking oil, sanitary towels, supply of donated goods and rentals on residential properties. Our second co concept would be to determine the amount of VAT payable. Now, a till slip is a receipt which serves as proof of payment for items purchased, meaning as in every time when you purchase a goods or when you pay for a service, you will receive a receipt as proof of payment. The items that are marked with an asterisk, you'll see by a show or indication of an asterisk on the slip, it means those items are exempted from VAT or are zero rated items and it indicates the total cost of all items purchased and the amount of VAT payable, meaning on your till slip, all of these items you have purchased will appear, the VAT and the amount charged. Now, looking at the first example, we are given a till slip. We are given a till slip here. Now, remember, every time you are given a financial document, you need to first analyze it and check what you are given from what you know up to what you do not know, meaning those will be your calculations. Now, when we look here, we can see that it's a tax invoice. It has a VAT number. It has the number of items that are purchased and their prices are included. We have the total of all these items, we have the VAT as well as the total amount to be paid, of which now it's whereby we will be calculating the, value, the missing value of A, B, and C. So now in this, in this case, we are firstly going to calculate the missing value of A. Now looking at our till slip, we can see that A appears to be the total, meaning we need to add all these values in order for us to have the total, which is the value of A. Now having the total of all these values, we are going to have 17 rand 99 plus 29 rand 99 and 40 cent plus 14 rand 99 plus 7 rand 99 and 23.99 plus 10 rand 99 plus 6 rand 99 and lastly, we have 13 rand 99. So these, these values, they give us a total uh, amount of 127 rand 23 cent. Now, when you add all these values, that's what you're going to have, which is 27 rand 23 cents, which is our missing value of A. Now, we move to calculate the missing value of B. So now we have already calculated the value of A. So now we are here, value, uh, the, the value of B, which are the zero rated items. So the zero vet items. Remember we have said in order for you to identify whether a, a, an item will be charged VAT or not, you will be or you will see an indication of an asterisk, meaning we have the sunflower oil, which is 14 rand 99, 14 rand 99, and then we have brown bread, which is 
10 rand 99 and we have pumpkin seed so this being added to 16 rand, 6 rand 99 so now if we add all these re zero rated um, items we are going to have 32 rand 90 seven cents it means vet will not be charged only on these three items because it shows that they are the basic need because there's an indication of an asterisk so we already obtained our value of b now the next question it says calculate the missing value of c so the missing value of c is this amount the tax that will be charged on this items so now before that it says that amount will be charged on 90 for and 35 it means they are items whereby they will not be charged vet however this is the amount that vet will be charged on so we have 94 and 35 cents multiply by 15 over 100. Remember we have said that it is levied at 15% in South Africa. So this will give us a VAT amount of 14 rand 15 cents. So this is the VAT amount that we are going to be charged when buying these items of 127.23 cents. Now moving along again, we are looking at a, a, a till slip for groceries. So it says here, uh, a grocery till slip is provided below. Remember, you need to check the given context, check what is missing and check what is given to you before you can attempt to answer the questions. So with number one, it says here, determine the value of A, the vet to be added to the cost. Now we are looking at the till slip and we can see that the value of A is vet and this vet will be charged on what amount from the total, which is 69 rand 76 cents. So we have 69 rand 76 multiplied by 15 over 100. So this will give us a vet amount of 10 rand 46 cents. So this is the vet amount that will be charged on this total cost of which is 69 rand 76. Then the next second question, it says, show how the total due was calculated. The total due meaning is the total amount that you will be paying at the end after the vet and the cost price has been added. So now, yes, we have, we have already answered that. So show how the total due was calculated. So the total due, we have 69 rand 76. So this being added to the VAT amount that we, we have calculated of which it was 15% and the amount that we got, it was 10 rand 46 cent. So now we are going to have a total amount to be paid or the total due of which it's 80 rand 22. So this total due comes from the addition of these two values. Okay, so now we are going to take a quick ad break. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back.